Well, if you won't give me the answers, I'm sure that Ripley can. And I'm also sure that you're not going to like it one bit. Wait a minute. How can you expect me to respond to lies that are so crazy? Why don't you just cut the act, Colette? Sean, look. I don't know anything about how Frisco was killed. I don't know who did it. Then how do you know where he was buried? They didn't take any security risk. And the rest was sealed off on a, a need-to-know basis. You know how it works. Will you tell me about Colton Shore? How long was he part of your group? What? Who said he was? I'm asking you. Who gave the order to him to kill Frisco? You, Ripley, or who? <coughs> I'm going to have to leave, sir. She, doctor's orders. She's not to be upset like this. Sorry if I upset you, Colette. I'll leave in a minute. One minute. Okay, one minute. All right, now tell me about Colton Shore. Sean, I can't. I was exhausted. And you're also stalling. Get with it. Sean. Look, it's true, okay? Tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be stronger. I'll give you the whole story. You can give me an early parole. Maybe you'll even forgive me. Maybe we can go back to Marbella. To that uh, hotel room atop the Paradisio Hotel. Huh? Why don't you just cut the comedy? Did Colton Shore kill Frisco? <laughs> Time's up. Tomorrow. Those are my orders. All right, tomorrow. Excuse me. And this is everything that you and Fran Woods found? All the records on the Carton Jerome office. Well, it can't be everything on them. I mean, if it was, the Carters would have enough fear to put the Jeromes away for 99 years plus life. I mean, what we have here is a list of soldiers, front men. Where are the capos? Who's minding the store? Where did all the money come from? More to the point. At least we have the soldiers' names. We'll start pulling them in until they give us the names we need. Spoken like a true cop. The hell are you up to, Scorpio? How many guesses do I get? Zip. I just heard from my client's mother that there's new evidence in the Shore case. Now, you know the rules. As the defendant's attorney, I am in on all the evidence, or you're going to hear from Albany. You sleazy little ambulance chaser. You trying to threaten me? Well, if the shoe fits, wear it, or you can check with the U.S. Attorney's Office and get a lesson in the law. Listen, I've forgotten more about the law than you ever knew to begin with. Point one. I brought Shaw in and booked him on the basis of his confession, but that doesn't mean to say I've stopped looking for evidence. I just haven't found any yet. Okay, well, what's the new evidence? Because I want to get my client out on bail as soon as possible. Well, that's not possible just yet. It's not conclusive. We have a possible lead on a witness who's out of the country. Well, are you going to send somebody to go find him? If we can establish a connection between him and the shooting, yes. Okay, good. Good, thanks a lot. Now listen, next time, look before you shoot. You might have one of the good guys. Yeah, right. I'll check back with you. You do that. Hello there. Is he as big a jerk as he seems? No, much bigger. Much bigger. <laughs> so who is this person connected with the Colton Shaw thing? Scorpio. Robert, it's Sean. Just had a very interesting talk with our lady friend. Your lady friend? She, uh, fess up to that or tell you anything really helpful? <laughs> Colette, surely you jest. But she did tell me that Ripley was one of them, strictly for hire, though. Mercenary. Exactly. I did push her a little bit more. I, uh, brought up the Colton connection, so to speak. Then she suddenly developed a phony attack of asthma and they booted me out of there. Any of it true, you think? It's hard to say. She did dangle some bait, said she'd tell me all about Colton tomorrow. You going back? Why not? All it's going to do is cost me some gasoline. Look, I'm offering that lady years put back in her life. Now, she's bound to tell me one thing that's true, don't you think? Maybe. 
But which one will it be and how will you know before it's too late? Easy, easy. There you go. No, you haven't done yourself any harm. Just get plenty of rest. You have the most wonderful hands. I can't thank you enough. Anytime. Thanks for getting Sean Donnelly out of here. These questions are starting to bore me. That's why the group sent me, to look after you. Make sure you're on duty tomorrow. He's coming back. He thinks to get the rest of the story. If that guy keeps digging around, he's going to get us all in trouble. Don't worry. We'll stop him. 